welcome back to my channel i <laughs> i have a halloween haul um i wasn't planning on doing one because i said to myself my dog's whining in the background i said to myself this year i was going to be really good and not buy anything well hardly anything yeah i saved up 200 pound but anyway yeah i said i wasn't going to buy much it was only going to be stuff for the fairs, which it is, in my defence. So I've got a haul from TK Maxx and HomeSense, because our TK Maxx has the HomeSense mixed in with it. And B&M and Home Bargains. And I think that is it. That's all I've gone to so far. And that was all I was planning to go to, because all the others... Because all the other shops tend to sell similar things. Um, but yeah, let's get on with it because I can only film for 20 minutes and this is going to be long. So, I will show you something I didn't buy <laughs> at the at the shops. I went to a fairy festival uh, last Sunday and it was amazing. I had the best time ever. I had a really shit week and that instantly made you know, it like proper cheered me up. Um, and they had some shops there and this was one of the things I got. I couldn't resist it. Um, yeah. Fun fact, I don't like Ouija, bo Ouija boards. Ouija, Ouija boards. Ouija. Where's the eye coming from? Ouija? Ouija. Ouija. Spirit boards. I don't like spirit boards. But that doesn't mean I don't like spirit board things. <laughs> so yeah, I really like this. I think it was like, yeah, seven ninety nine. So yeah, I thought we could use this for something. I don't know. I just, a bit of an impulse buy really, but whatever. So in Home Bargains, I got these cobweb placemats. And I thought I could use these in a video. Right, just have one in the middle might add something to it so yeah I've got them I'm not quite sure how much they were but yeah now this um <laughs> stay with me stay with me um <laughs> I was in the shop with my mum and my auntie and when us three go out it is anyone would think Anyone would think uh, we've just been clubbing or something because when us three shop together, it's a nightmare. We're always joking around, taking the piss. And yeah, so my mum was putting these on her shoulders and walking around the shop. And then my auntie uh, was like flying one around. I can't remember what happened, but um, yeah, they convinced me to buy them. There was two left, so he's got a brother. But, um, I actually will probably use these for a costume. Uh, oh, it's the stuff that comes off. Oh, I hate that. Mm, kind of regretting that already. And it's got a little toothpick thing, I don't know what you do with that. You stub it in a, in a hole somewhere, but, yeah, um... So, I'm going to sit him, sit him there. Can you peek in on the video? No? Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to turn that into a costume. Either put him on the shoulders or... I saw, when I was at the fairy festival, there was a woman selling these big, like, staffs for, like, costumes. And she had them perched on the top and it looked amazing. So, that might be an idea. Now, if you said to me... Either are you going to buy any more jars? I would have said no. But here we are. Uh, I liked it because it was shorter. And witch, it has a witch's hat. So I could put coins in here. Yeah. <laughs> just listen. When I go Halloween shopping. I just. It's like a dream. I disconnect from the world. And I just go. Yeah I love that. Yeah I love that. 
I love that. <laughs> so it just it makes me happy at the end of the day. For something that's not Halloween. They had these stickers of 49p each. And I like stickers. <laughs> and they are like 70s, 80s, 60s. So you've got like, the decades. And I loved them. So I chucked a few of them in because I like to plan. And look at that. That's all come off from crows. They're molting everywhere. That's... Let's give them a wipe down. <laughs> Can't show yourself on camera looking like a mess. But I have these. And you've seen this one in my video. We need a little name for them. But, um, they had these in Home Bargains. And the last time I got them in B&M. And I did have the exact same ones, but in Home Bargains they had these ones. So I thought these were really cute, so I had to get them. Um, that was it from Home Bargains. Uh, and then I just brought some really boring things. I brought an ice cube tray from my dad because his one broke and he moaned about it. <laughs> um, some cotton buds and some Galaxy because while I was walking around the shop I was getting hungry. So yeah, I did have a look in B&M. And I saw they had a new Zodiac range and I got really excited because that means gifts for Christmas. Not for me, for others. If my friend is watching this, don't. <laughs> Laura, if, if you're watching, you look away, okay? Because I know what you like. They had these notebooks, so I got one for me, obviously, so I got myself a cancer, and then I got one for my bestie for Christmas, an Aries, I love that design with the blue, oh my god, and I've just realised, sun and moon, because <laughs> whenever we always get matching things, if there's a sun and moon, we will always try to choose a sun and moon to be matching, I also got her this uh, this little zodiac necklace, just a little another little gift. I always like to get small things um, and like a main thing. So these are like little gifty bits. Um, so yeah, fire element because she's an Aries. I think. Could you imagine if she's not? And for me, <laughs> I got this. I've got this for the trinket dish. Not gonna be. Not gonna lie. Um, I literally only bought this for the trinket dish because it's so cute. Uh, yeah, but it comes with a little little pendant and a necklace, so that would make a great gift. That's five pound. My dog's whining because I'm babysitting him because my mum's gone out. I also found these. They are affirmation cards. And I haven't actually got an affirmation deck. I've got like 20 decks in general, but they're all tarot and oracle. So these have little affirmations on, which I thought was really cool. Um, so yeah, and they also had like a tarot and palm reading ones. So if someone is just getting into tarot or like spiritual things in general, definitely check out b &M because these were three pound so that was it for b&m that was it for yesterday's trip but i did get a i did get a candle in b&m i did have a look at the halloween stuff but there wasn't much i liked it was mainly just repeats from last year <coughs> but they did have this really nice candle and this was five pound they had these in tk maxx but they were all broke and i really wanted the one in tk maxx because it was orange but an iridescent orange and that was £10 and it was the exact same size as this and it was the Martha Stewart one but they were all chipped and broke so yeah and then I went into t uh, went into B&M's after and I had they saw these and they had them in pink and white as well so perfect I had to get one. Oh no I'm running out of space already and I haven't even moved on to the big stuff <laughs> but so now TK Maxx TK Maxx is where I spent the most damage it always is I'm not gonna lie, it's just they have really good stuff. Well, I should say TK Maxx and Home Bargains, really. 
No, not Home Bargain. TK Maxx and Home Sense is what I meant to say. So when I was there the other day, I got this bowl. They only had one, well, they, they had a few, but all the others were broke because what is it with TK Maxx and things just being broken? I don't know what it's like at other people's, but every time I go in there, there's always smashed stuff and it always looks a mess. But this bowl was 3 99 and I'm not going to use it for food. It just looks like a little... It reminds me of the tea leaf reading, like, cups. And I do actually have one, but... Yeah, I just thought this might look nice on my altar, or... Even, I don't know. I just thought it was nice. It's like decoration. So it's another Ouija board. Which some people might look at and hate, which I can totally understand. <laughs> I was with my auntie, because every time I go Halloween shopping, it's with my mum and my auntie, because they like it too. Um, and every time I pick up something that's got the spirit board on, my auntie cringes, because she's also spiritual, but she really hates spirit boards. <laughs> I didn't get many candles, but I did get this one, because I'm not going to burn it. I'm going to use it as decoration, so this was seven ninety nine. It's a little haunted house, and I love this so much a lot of this stuff you're probably gonna see in my videos <laughs> um, I got these bags and I'm gonna use these at the fair because I want to make little Halloween mystery bags um, these are 4 99 and there's 13 so I did get quite a few of these in different patterns because oh yeah I want to make little mystery bags so it's gonna have like stickers badges in things like that and these were the ones I got the other day they're proper witchy and I love them it has got a bit of candle wax on there, but I'll wipe all that off. So these are 4 99 and there's 13 These are slightly smaller. And then these were the last ones. And I got them because they were kind of vintagey. And I also love anything with like Halloween sweets on. So there's 13 and these were 5 99 One pound dearer, bloody hell. So yeah, there's four lots of them. I got this ram head because I love like animal skulls, which is quite morbid, but I just love them. Um, I love stag skulls specifically, but this one I just couldn't say no to because it looks really witchy. So my dad is amazing at carving wood things and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get him to do me a plaque because he has made quite a few stag skull plaques and they look amazing. Um, with like real stag skulls on them. Um, so yeah, this was ten ninety nine, ten ninety nine, nine ninety nine, and I love it. And it's like a like that wood resin thing. Now I've got these two candles. I have literally like three minutes left to film this. I got these two candles, and they look like little cans. How adorable is that? So. Oh, this is Ghost Tears Elixir, and then this is Poison Apple Cider. This one is my favourite because it smells like... If you've ever had the incense that smells like fizzy pop, it smells like that to me. And this smells kind of more like a pie or something. But these were 5 99 each. And these are very flimsy glass, they're very thin. And a lot of these were broken on the shelves. Um, so if you see those, bear in mind they are very fragile, so be careful. I got this skull because it's gunmetal and I absolutely love anything to do with gunmetal. And I'm actually hoping you can't see my reflection. So I got this skull and it's gunmetal and I'm trying to hide my reflection. <laughs> Should have thought about that before I filmed. <laughs> But yeah, so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> and then I just picked up two boxes of these blank cards because I needed some thank you cards. And these were proper, like, celestial. And yeah, these were 3 99 for a box of 12. So I got two lots of them. And then lastly, I saw these skulls. Let's see if I can hurry up and film this. Oh my god, these are so cool. <gasps> so they're kind of like marble. It looks like, if you've ever seen acrylic, like, pour, you know, when people on Instagram, they do, like, the acrylic pour paintings. That's what it kind of reminds me of. So there's, like, a pink one. I'm probably really zoomed in right now. 
and like a grey one. I love it. I love that blue. But yeah, that was everything. And I have one minute to end this. So <laughs> sorry the ending is a bit rushed. Um, my phone is running out of storage. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, you'll probably see all this in my next video. Um, if you have got to the end, please leave me a skull emoji. And while we're at it, can we give this little guy a name? Because he's always in my videos and I want to give him a little name. So yeah, I'll let you all choose some names and I'll pick the one that I think suits him the best. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!